Are you the young lady that wrote these verses? Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Lane, do you like music? I adore it. I can't play very well myself, but a good tune always makes me think of lyrics. They, they just seem to pop into my head. I have that once. Oh, but I think your melodies lately have been perfectly wonderful. Oh, do you? Of course. Nothing will ever quite come up to goodbye to love. Ah, I wrote that myself. I mean, uh, that really came from my heart. Uh, Miss Lane, how would you like to write my lyrics? I beg your pardon? I said, how would you like to write my lyrics? Oh, I couldn't write your lyrics. I, I could write my own lyrics, but I couldn't write... Uh, or do you mean... Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Courtney, I couldn't do that. Or could I? Well, it would give you an opportunity and an income. And it will give me something that I very badly need. Some new lyrics. Oh, Mr. Courtney, to be able to write with you, it's, it's unbelievable. I must think of a new rhyme for heaven right away. Will you? Oh, of course I will. Just wait till the girls back in Tulsa see my name on one of your songs. Oh, they'll just simply curl up and die. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Miss Lane, I, uh, I don't want you to labor under any misapprehension. Your name won't appear on the song. Mine will be on it as usual. But you'll have all the satisfaction of knowing that you did write it and what's more to the point. You'll be able to dine on something more substantial than the food of love. But, Mr. Courtney, that is misrepresentation or something. They'll throw me in jail. Oh, no. It's done all the time. A man reaches a position where he's paid a big sum for a song or a story or a magazine article or something. He has only two hands and one brain. What's the sensible thing to do? Obviously, hire someone else. It's called ghostwriting, Miss Lane. It's a very profitable business. For the ghost? Oh, for the writer. I'll pay you $50 a week to start with. Well, what's the answer? Well, the answer is yes. <laughs> Good. Now, remember. You're not to tell anyone that you're working for me, or the deal's off. It's a matter of honor, Miss Lane. When do we start? Uh, how about dining with me tonight? Where? Uh, here. I've got to get started, you know. I've a show in preparation. Well, Mr. Courtney, I... I admit it all sounds very tempting, and I'd be delighted to dine with you on one condition. No, what's that? Well, that you remember I'm only a ghost. 